Greetings, Exile. I recently committed the heinous crime of posting a League starter guide before League start. For that, I got ratioed to Oblivion on Reddit and received a lot of hate on YouTube. And not just that, even Lord Wilson didn't spare me. He revamped the whole freaking skill tree, making my supposedly build guide completely obsolete. So, in an attempt to redeem myself since melee got massively buffed, Bleed gained a lot of power on the skill tree, and Gladiator received a full rework. I have decided to league start as a Bleed Earthquake Gladiator. But unlike my last Bleed Earthquake build in 3.24, I will be opting for a shield and axe route this time instead of two-handed. Now you can start enjoying full-fledged bleed action even in Act 1. It's possible to achieve 100% chance to bleed with just 14 points and the chance to bleed support gem. Bleed has also received a new mechanic called Bleed Aggravation, which causes your target to count as moving. Additionally, there are three new masteries that make bleed very effective even against stationary targets. For damage scaling, Gladiator now gains early access to gratuitous violence, which no longer provides 20% more damage with bleeding, but instead deals double the bleed explode damage, significantly improving our clear speed. The new Ascendancy node, Jagged Technique, causes any bleeds we inflict to be aggravated, meaning they count as moving and take 200% more damage from bleeding. Because of this change, we no longer need Tempest Rising Boots. For defense scaling, Gladiator now has two new Ascendancy nodes. The first one is Determined Survivor, which sets our base block chance to 50% while wielding a shield, rendering any block chance on our shield ineffective. The second one is More Than Skill, which makes our chance to block attack and spell damage lucky. When combined with the Keystone Versatile Combatant, which recently had its penalty reduced by 15%, it provides us with a 65% chance to block both spell and attack damage. This can be further improved by taking the passive node as the Mountain, which provides plus 3% to maximum chance to block attack damage and the block mastery for an additional 2%. This brings our attack damage block chance back up to 70%. For spell damage block, we can take the block mastery for maximum spell block and anoint safeguard on our amulet, which provides plus 3% to maximum chance to block spell damage, bringing our spell block chance to 70% as well. And since our chance to block is lucky, the numbers are rolled twice, giving us a significantly higher chance to block. As soon as I finish the campaign after League start, I will post a short leveling video along with the leveling POB. I will be playing this build until the end game and will also min-max it. Besides this, I have a few other skills in mind. Sweep, Chain Hook, Double Strike of Impaling, and Blade Trap of Laceration. And this is not all. Everyone's beloved Sir Bunksalot will also be making a return stronger than ever before. I will try my best to keep you guys as updated as possible so we can make this a build-along series rather than just a POB you have to figure out yourself. If you like our content and want to stay updated on what's coming next, please consider subscribing or even joining our Discord server where you can get the earliest updates, help with your builds, and notifications about our activities. As always, thanks for watching.